Ryan Martin, you have made a statement here this season, season four, that you are the most dominant no prep racer in all of no prep racing. Street racing is illegal in many parts of the world. However, the TV show Street Outlaws on Discovery Channel has made the concept exciting to many viewers. As the show enters its 15th season, with several spin-offs in tow, the viewers have become familiar with many highly talented mechanics and racers who have joined the show as new additions. Ryan Martin is one of those newest additions to the show, but he has been working with cars for a very long time. It's how he's made a living before appearing on the TV show. Street racing is still dangerous, despite the excitement and thrill that comes with it, and Ryan has had a taste of what that danger feels like several times. Join us as we examine what really happened to Ryan Martin on Street Outlaws. You know, when I came to the semifinals, I really expected that if I could win my race, that I was going to be racing Kai Kelly. Street Outlaws grew to be a great show because it gave us a closer look at the lives of the racers and all the drama that goes on in the street racing scene. Before appearing on the show, Ryan was a mechanic who helped other street racers install performance packages on their cars. But before he became a mechanic, Ryan was just another boy, born on December 1st, 1977, with a penchant for painting, drawing, and photography. As a child, Ryan was close to his mother, and he attributes her upbringing of him as the reason he he has achieved all he has in the street racing scene. Ryan is still relatively new compared to other cast members of Street Outlaws, so there haven't been many opportunities to dig into his past life, but it is public knowledge that before he delved into racing, he owned and ran an auto shop known as BNR Performance, which he co-owns. BNR Performance specializes in aftermarket performance products and has been making car performance packages since 2015. The shop offers upgrades for as low as $9,000, with more expensive upgrades that can amount to $50,000. There's also an option where a customer can request a custom build instead of just an ordinary upgrade, and this is a testament to how good Ryan was as a wrench monkey. As a mechanic, Ryan helps racers like Jackie Knox and Freakin' Rickin to the level of street outlaw stardom they enjoy today. However, somewhere along the line, Ryan had his perspective changed. He decided he would not just build cars, but he would start racing them professionally. Ryan took to the asphalt with his 5th generation 2010 Camaro SS, nicknamed Fireball Camaro, and has maintained an awesome winning streak on Street Outlaws. Ryan's show of talent on Street Outlaws OKC made him a prime contender for the infamous Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Tournament. Behind the wheel of the Fireball Camaro, Ryan has won multiple races in the event, proving that his talents do not stop under the hood. It extends the burning rubber on the street. Thanks to his excellent racing skills, Ryan has built a wide audience in a very short time. However, racing is still a dangerous sport, and while drivers try to be safe as much as possible, especially on shows like Street Outlaws, sometimes accidents are just unavoidable. Ryan is well known for his ride or die attitude on the tarmac. He's not a driver to be easily beaten, and it's due to this that he's been crowned as a champion three times on Street Outlaws No Prep Kings and has garnered a fan base that's always hungry to see more exploits from him on the show. Ryan raced against Jerry Bird at the Virginia Motorsports Park in North Dinwiddie, Virginia. It was a Friday night race, and everyone was excited to be would be winners. However, Ryan and his team faced some setbacks early in the event when the Fireball Camaro had an issue. The team had to work on the car all night till Saturday morning to get the issue fixed. Ryan's team tried their best to ensure that the Fireball Camaro was in perfect condition for race day, but they might have missed one or two details, because during the second round of the race, which was held on Saturday night against Adam Jennings, the Fireball Camaro almost ended up being a fireball when its engine burst into flames. The front of the car was a literal ball of fire, and the race had to be called off. Ryan's cameras were destroyed during the accident, so he doesn't have a personal record of the incident that showed the accident from his POV. When the car caught on fire, it was so bad that the fans couldn't help but wonder if he would survive the accident, but he would survive, and that would not be his last accident. According to Motor Trend, Ryan Martin crashed his car, this time not the Fireball Camaro, but his 1969 Camaro. The car crashed during testing for an upcoming international competition in Australia at Perth Motorplex in Kuanana Beach. 
Ryan was testing the small tire car for an event that will be featured in an upcoming show for Discovery Channel. The accident happened on the third testing run, just as he passed the finish line. He lost control of the first generation Camaro, and as it moved toward the wall, he tried shutting it down. He was able to shut it down and tried to avoid making contact with the wall, but the car still got smacked into the retaining wall. The accident was blamed on the rear tires locking up and causing the car to lose control. The Camaro was taken to a shop in Melbourne where the damage was assessed. The car's chassis was relatively undamaged, and the most serious issue was the replacement nose and hood that Ryan had difficulty sourcing. These accidents must have been pretty traumatizing, but Ryan is doing well. And once the cars were ready to start racing again, he was back in events trying to defend his crown as the champion of No Prep Kings. Away from racing, Ryan has also been doing well. Although he's not married, he has been in a committed relationship with Cherish Casey. Cherish goes by Mama Fireball on social media platforms and it's been Ryan's significant other for almost eight years. The two met when they went on a blind date in 2015. While celebrating their fourth anniversary, she made an Instagram post with the caption, I'm so grateful I went on that blind date with you. Back then, if you googled Ryan Martin, nothing came up. You are the best thing to ever happen to me. Thank you for making all my dreams come true. Love you, babe. We don't know why Ryan is holding on. All that's left is that they put a ring on the relationship and make it official. Despite not being married, Ryan and Cherish have a son named Dax. He regularly features on their Instagram page, and while Ryan's talent on the streets show that he puts a lot of time and effort into his racing career, his social media pages show us that he cherishes his family, as he always ensures that Cherish and Dax are included in his proudest moments. Ryan remains a regular on Street Outlaws and looks poised to keep his winning streak going. Ryan's fan base extends beyond the viewers of Street Outlaws. He has almost 330,000 followers on Instagram, and that number keeps increasing daily. Ryan exploits this huge fan base to sell BNR Performance's line of merchandise. The company, privately owned by Ryan, sells shirts, hats, cups, and even keychains. The company also has an online store to sell die-cast cars, with the option to have Ryan's autograph on them for free. Ryan's shop is quite successful, and because it's privately owned, it's not required to make its finances public, so we cannot estimate just how much revenue Ryan makes through the shop. However, he's been working at the shop long before he joined Street Outlaws. The exact salary he earns per episode remains a mystery, but we do know that some stars on the show can earn about $20,000 to $30,000 per episode, and also get residuals when their episodes air. Ryan's net worth is speculated to be around $2 million, with most of that estimated to have been accumulated before his time on the show. Ryan is a very talented racer who's undoubtedly good at his work. Despite the setbacks he's faced in his still short racing career, he looks poised to become the next big thing on one of America's most loved reality TV shows.